The thing with America is that you can't walk one step without someone brushing past you in a hurry. This makes you long for a place where you can get an escape from all this. So stick with us as we go through the best states to visit if you hate people, so you can find the next place where people won't be breathing down your neck all the time. First up, Michigan. People hating Detroit and Flint, we get you. But these aren't the only two cities in Michigan. For example, there are Marysville, Grand Rapids, East Grand Rapids, Traverse City, Kingsford, and there's also a coastal town named Petoskey, located in the Little Traverse Bay of Lake Michigan, and it could be the place where you've wanted to live for years. Apart from that, Michigan also loves digital nomads because it provides great job opportunities for them. You can work from home if you're one of those, and there, you won't even have to see people anymore. And when you get tired from being at home, you can go boating in Petoskey. There, we just solved two of your major problems, work and travel. Now, as for the weather, Michigan Michigan's also the state for you if you love winters, but that's not it, as the state has some amazing summers. But hey, we won't recommend this place to you if you aren't young, because then it'll be you against the weather. No offense to the boomers, but we had to warn you. Also, a tip, don't let the negative reputation of Detroit and Flint get to your head. There are 274 other cities, and one of them might have a house that'll have your name on it. Next we have Wisconsin. For people wanting to raise a family, this is your go-to place. You can call it a family-friendly state, as Milwaukee's the only city here where the crime rate isn't that bad. If people aren't enough already, the wallet snatchers can make your horrible day a lot worse. But for Milwaukee, the crime ratio has pretty much gone down from previous years. Sounds like a dream city, right? Speaking of other cities in Wisconsin, Madison, Eau Claire, Oshkosh, and Appleton are all places where you can drop the anchor. The cost of living is very cheap, and they've got a ton of job opportunities for everyone. The public schools in this state are ranked 8th best in the US. While the winters are a little harsh here, there's still lots to do, so you decide. Wisconsin has also got your back if you want to go kayaking, as it has the Apostle Islands National Lakeshore. That's exactly the place you need to go if you want a break from seeing mankind in general. Now for New Hampshire and Vermont. Both of these states are quite similar, as they both have small, quiet towns that have great outdoor places. For example, Wolfboro is the place where you can get plenty of peace and quiet in New Hampshire. There's this Cotton Valley rail trail that starts in the town and if you keep on walking it, it'll transport you away from everything and drop you to the shores of Back Bay. Vermont doesn't lack anywhere in competition as it has a Manchester better than the one in England where you can enjoy mountain views away from all the bickering of big cities. Autumn, here's a thing to truly experience as it'll help you recover from your human allergy. Yep, we all get that, so no judgments here. Vermont and New Hampshire has a town for everyone and we're sure that you'll find something you like. There's just one bad side. Only go to these states if you're loaded, because things get pretty expensive here. Up next is Nebraska. Nebraska can fight both New Hampshire and Vermont together and still win. And why is that? It's because it has one thing that the small towns of New Hampshire and Vermont don't have, the cost of living. Living expenses are a lot more affordable here in Nebraska. Also, if you're tired because New York never sleeps, Nebraska's the state for you because there's no nightlife here. Yes, you heard us right. You won't have to cancel your nighttime plans with your friends anymore because because there won't be any plans to make in the first place. A dream place for introverts. Nebraska's always in the top 10 when it comes to education and the environment. Combine that with no nightlife, and there, you've got a place to raise a family. Beatrice, Hastings, and Columbus are all the cities that are waiting for you there. Even its big cities like Lincoln and Omaha give small town vibes because of the peace and quiet. Now we have South Carolina. South Carolina is the state where people want to settle after they retire, and that's the one big compliment for this place. It's a calm place with a lot of good places to live like Bluffton and Charleston in the Low Country. Hanahan and Mount Pleasant in Charleston are also some of the good places. Then you've also got Maudlin and Simpsonville up in the north. The thing about South Carolina is that you don't need to move to their small towns to get what you want. Their cities can do that for you. People there are great and we're sure that they'll leave you alone if you want it that way. South Carolina also has the Ashpoo, Combahe, and Adisto Basin, which is a wetland ecosystem. Then there are the beachside camps campsites at Adisto Beach State Park, where you can go to watch bald eagles, white-tailed deer, and American alligators. Animals over humans all the time. Next is Idaho. Idaho is one of those places where you go for a visit, but you'll come back with plans to settle there forever. The environment is incredible. You'll get many great fishing sites here like McCall, which is on the shore of Payette Lake, and you can spend some time there away from everything, just fishing peacefully. When people are done with states like California and Mississippi, Idaho is their refuge. 
It has plenty of great cities like Coeur d'Alene, Pocatello, Twin Falls, Moscow, Hayden, Eagle, Post Falls, and Boise. All of them have a great economy as Idaho's economy is ranked number three in the country. Moving on now to Utah. The thing with Utah is that most people aren't aware of its potential and that's why people don't move there. It's a great opportunity for people like us who don't want to see anyone. Whoa, never thought that people not liking a thing would make it a benefit. Here in Utah, the crime rate is low, schools are great, and the neighborhood is pleasant. Start with Interstate 15 because you'll find plenty of good places to live like St. George, Ogden, and Fruit Heights. The economy is flourishing there. Utah's healthcare system is also among the top 10 in the USA. Another bonus, there are also places like Park City where you can go and satisfy your inner skier. If you're afraid of that, don't worry. You can also go biking and hiking away from all the drama. Next we have Arizona. Arizona is perfect for you if you're tired of the monotony of weather as it's dry during the day but cool during the night. Arizona is also the place where you should go if you're looking to start a business as the soil is fertile for entrepreneurs. Forbes ranked it as the number one entrepreneurial state as it has low business and property taxes along with an educated labor pool. Arizona offers top retirement spots. Glendale was ranked second best and Avondale secured itself a spot at number six because of clean air and sunny days. And if you don't want to see people, that won't be a problem because you can go and watch birds. Portal is made for you to get the break you deserve from annoying people. It's right near the entrance to Cave Creek Canyon and the Chiricahua Mountains and is loved by all bird watchers. Almost half of the bird species in North America can be found here. Sounds like heaven for bird watchers, right? After you get tired from bird watching, you can gaze at the pollution-free sky at night. You'll find out that the skies here are extra dark because they're free from light pollution. And finally, Oregon. Oregon not only has all kinds of diverse landscapes, but it's also among five states that have no sales tax. That means if you have a business there, bookkeeping just got easier for you. A booming economy is a given in this scenario. Can you believe your ears? Don't worry, you'll get used to it if you decide to move there. Then there's Hood River, which has everything for your touristy needs. You can hike, bike, visit craft breweries, eat, and even satisfy the historian inside of you. And did we say that it's called the windsurfing capital of the world? So, windsurfers, go grab this opportunity. And the location, it can't get any more ideal. It's located at the crossroads of the Columbia River Gorge and the Cascade Range. So either you can go kite surfing if water attracts you, or you can hike all the way up to Mount Hood if you'd like to see the view from the top. We suggest you do both and leave with no regrets. So, as adults, we understand now why Courage the Cowardly Dog had a home in the middle of nowhere, or why Squidward didn't like having people around. If you're any of that, or simply need a break, we just gave you a whole list of places to go. And that's a wrap for this video. So, what do you think about these states? Did we find you your future home? Do let us know in the comments below. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up and click the subscribe button for more videos like this. See you in the next one.